Good morning. Welcome to Breakfast with Naga Manchetti and Charlie State. Our headlines today. Tracing systems to find people who come into close contact with those infected with coronavirus begin in England and Scotland this morning. Ministers hope it will allow the nationwide lockdown to be replaced with localised restrictions, but scientists say it's not a magic bullet. In the United States, more than 100,000 people have died from the virus in less than four months. Still waiting for a refund. Thousands of customers are still waiting for that as the worst airlines are named and shamed. They've not had their money back yet. I'll have a look at why not. Good morning. A busy day then on and off the training pitch for the Premier League clubs. Contact training, including tackling, is allowed again, whilst meetings will be held today as well to discuss a potential date to restart matches. In today's headline, a paramilitary unit called the first COT have discovered an ancient artifact in Western Russia. It is yet to be confirmed what age the artifact dates back to, or what the paramilitary company intends to do with it. We now join Alex who is at the excavation site now. Thank you Chloe. As you can see just right of me is the artifact itself where workmen are continuing to work hard. I've just spoken to the unit's commander Lieutenant Spoon who says they found the artifact while on a training exercise with the Russian army. They are now working alongside Russia to dig out the remains of what seems to be some sort of ring. We've just received word that they have unearthed the artifact and it appears to be some sort of gate. We have just been granted permission by the unit to take a closer look at the object. We are heading over to the site now. It's marvelous how such an ancient piece of work is in such good condition. Wait, is that thing starting to move? Rachel, the gate is starting to rotate and it's a light enough. We are not sure at this time what is happening. It looks like it's dialing something. Sorry about that Rachel, it seems when the gate opened it sent some sort of power surge out and shut down all the electrics. Russian workers are starting to leave the site and the military seem to be gearing up getting ready to enter. It looks like something is coming out the gate.